So when is PowerPoint appropriate to use for computer-based training? Um, it's really not a bad tool. A lot of times it's kind of overlooked automatically. We don't really consider it, but it does do a lot of things. You know, we can create buttons, we can create slides, we can, you know, create some internal quizzes and things like that. It does do some okay things. You know, we can create some pretty limited interactions with it that aren't terrible. And sometimes, you know, we use other software like, uh, articulate captivate or something else when we probably could have gotten away with powerpoint now whether powerpoint's actually quicker to develop in than something like articulate probably not um, but there are still reasons why we would want to use powerpoint and let's talk about them so i would say uh, one, probably the biggest reason that we would use powerpoint probably the biggest reason is that my client needs to be able to edit the training pretty consistently I'm not going to be able to train them on Articulate. They can't afford to buy it. And, you know, they need to be able to edit it. And maybe it's not just one person. It's like 10 different people are going to be editing different modules I'm developing. In that case, PowerPoint is a pretty good option because it's really easy. Everyone pretty much knows how to use it. Um, so they can go in and edit the content as they need it. And, you know, you've created the course, you've created the shell for them. They can go in and edit as they need to. Um, so I think that's probably the biggest reason to use PowerPoint. It's probably the biggest justification I have for ever using it. Um, then there are some other reasons. Next would be you don't need to track like, so if I'm creating an internal quiz, I don't need to keep score of it. Like it's just more of a knowledge check. Um, because, you know, a lot of times that quiz will be created with the learning management system. So it doesn't matter. You don't need software to really track it. Um, so that would be another reason you could potentially get away with using PowerPoint. Um, you know, I'd like to say a quick turnaround time in development. And sure, it's quicker than some other pieces of software, but it's really not quicker than Captivate or Articulate. It, it's not much faster. It's maybe faster for someone new, um, but it's not going to be faster for someone that's been developing in any of those pieces of software. I don't think they're any more difficult to develop in. Um, maybe you're on a project or you're with a client that can't afford Articulate and Captivate, and they're pretty inexpensive. So I'd like to say that's not really going to be something you're going to run into too often, but it does happen. You know, you'd be surprised. So that's a reason if money's a factor, a lot of people or companies already have PowerPoint. It's already there. They're familiar with it. It's easy. Um, so that's a reason to do it. And then I'd say the other one would be you don't really need any sophisticated interactions. Sometimes when you put together, you know, develop your instructional strategies and you figure out what the course is going to look like, you realize, hey, I actually could do this in PowerPoint. There's no reason for me to use any other software. And in that case, you could definitely use it. You know, and I always say for projects, don't go in assuming you need some kind of technology. Look at your requirements and match up the requirements with the technology. Um, so PowerPoint's really not terrible. I think it's more of the low end tool to use, but I don't think it's terrible. And I think you could definitely use it and create some pretty good training with it. Thank you. Thank you.